Hi everyone, welcome to Tilefly Designs, final card share. Today I'm using the brick stencil from MFT and two stamp sets. One is called Playful Pups, add-on by from Wormsy Stamps, and Woofers and Tweeters from Paper Smooches. And I'm also using this Mama Elephant basic slim card basic style set. So I started by using the stencil, the brick stencil from MFT, and I'm using Distress Ink Red Brick, and I'm creating my background of the scene. And since the card is going to be that big, I had to lift the stencil and move it over so I could finish. And I, I didn't want it to be perfect, so I'm going to add you know heavier colors at some spots and. Trying to make it look a little worn and dingy. Then I stamp all my images. I'm stamping the dog house, the doggy house. I thought it was so cute. This is a stamp set from M I'm sorry, from Whimsy Stamps that come. And I tried to find it on the website and I couldn't. So I'm going to use my large Misty and stamp everything at one time. Oh my god, I think the doggy images are so cute. And I had this stamp set for a while. The one with the big eyes is so cute. I'm using my Copic markers to color the images. But as you can see, by the end of the card, I changed up some of the colors. I started by um, doing the girl dog in gray. But then by the end of the card, I didn't like it. It didn't go with the other dog. So you're going to see me switch up. And I didn't like the way I colored the cutie with the big eyes. And I changed him too.
So as you can see, I didn't like my cutie, so I changed him to being brown and white. Added the little dots to him. And I didn't like the little pillow that the girl is going to sit on, so I painted it brown. So we're going to create our card. I used the... The slim scallop piece, and I'm using Modelon green ink to kind of distress the edges a little on this piece of green cardstock. And then I'm going to add my brick background to it. My grass was created using the Lawn Fawn Grassy Hills dye. So I'm going to start putting my scene together.
So my little girl dog is now white. I just added, use a very light Copic marker to take away some of the harshness of the color. And I think she complements my little guy better this way. And they look like they're posing for a picture, don't they? <laughs> For the sentiment, I'm going to emboss I dig you on some black cardstock with with um detail white embossing powder from Simon Says. And then we'll add it to the top left of the scene. For the card base, I'm using some very dark brown, heavyweight cardstock. And if you guys let me know what's your favorite heavyweight cardstock for your cards. I actually like the ones from MFT, they're very heavy. Maybe you guys could tell me what's your favorite in the comment field. So that's my scene, and I love this card so much that I have it sitting on my desk. So I can look at it <laughs> every day. It's too cute. And then for the insides, I use another piece of scallop cardstock in white. And I kind of add a little bit of the brick stencil to it. And the little gu little girl that I colored and didn't like, I just added to the insides. So that's my card for today. Um, I'm just going to add some glaze to certain parts of the card. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.